we are going through the importance of reading the Bible always. You as a pupil, you are a Christian. I want to ask you, how many times do you read the Bible? As you know that Christians go to church. This is the church where a Christian go on Sunday. Yes, you know what? As a Christian, our church has what? It has a, that is a church. When you go to church, the pastor or the bishop usually uses what? Usually uses the Bible. And you know that what? The Bible, the Bible, this is the Bible. Yes, is the Bible is the Holy Word of God. So it, we say that it was inspired, it was written by what? It was written by people guided by by God. Now, what is the importance of reading the Bible? The reading the Bible helps us to know God, and you know God. God is so big. Even if we start doing God, we can't be able to know His size because He is so big. Even you don't know the size. God is so huge and big, enormous. He's like a giant. Even there's nobody who have ever seen God face to face. The person who is alive now. God, it is but in us, no God. The Bible helps us to correct ourselves when you do wrong. Wrong means what? It is something which is not correct. It helps us to correct ourselves when you do wrong. So we should always do what? The correct things. Also, reading the Bible helps us to avoid sin. It helps us to avoid sin. Sin is something bad. It is like a virus, something bad, something which is Ma is very annoying, which is not good. Sin is something which is ugly, yes? Yeah, but when we read the Bible, we avoid doing the sin. Also, reading the Bible brings us close to God and Jesus. We know Jesus died on the cross because of our sins. Now, when we read, we read the Bible, we know about Jesus and we become we come close to him. We know how he lived here on earth and what he did, yes? And then we try to live according to how, and we, come, we try to live according to how he taught us. We know about the Ten Commandments, we know about the virtues, the beatitudes, all those things. And also, reading the Bible makes us to obey God and our elders, yes, our elders. And elder is a big person. Assume you are, not assume, you are small here, yes? When you are small here. This is a boy here. Here we have a small girl. Yes, here now they are walking. Then they find a man or a woman. Yes, then they find a woman. What they should do? Should they do? They should obey. They should obey. Then they can be told. They can be told. Then can be told. Come here. They can be told. Come here. What do they do? They go. When they go, then they say what? Yes, we are coming. Yes, coming, you see? Yes, we are coming. Now this is the girl who is saying that. Yes, let's put him out like that. They say, yes, we are coming. You see? That's not what we call obedience. And also, reading the Bible makes us feel happy. Yes, here we have two types of faith. I want, as we see, here we have somebody. We have this person and we have another person here, like that. Yes, between these people, this one is a sad face. This one is somebody who is sad, and this is somebody who is happy. Yes, when you read a Bible, you become happy. You don't become sad. 